Hello, this is Matt Perry, tennis coach at David Lloyd Harrogate and founder of MPTC Tennis. So we're here today for the Ultimate Volley series video number two, backhand volley. So today, again, the legendary Alfred Parry is going to be the star of the show. He wanted to join in, so he's here for the whole time this time. He wants to give you a message first. The reason he's wearing his knitted hat, which is Nanny She did for him, is because he's been watching a lot of online personal training videos and he's seeing all these personal trainers with no tops on and woolly hats. He doesn't really understand it, but he wants to be that baby. So he's got his woolly hat on today and his little racket. So before we crack on, I just want to say if you are enjoying these videos, you're liking what we're doing, please subscribe, like, share, especially on YouTube because we're trying to build that channel up so we can get that information out there for more people to see. Um, bit of a background again before we start going into the backhand technique. Um, these videos are for club level players. I've had quite a few inbox messages from higher level players talking about you know, how certain techniques are, need to be more advanced. We're not aiming these videos at the highest of level of play. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there, hundreds and hundreds of high level technique. We are aiming these videos at people that are club level tennis players, juniors and adults that want to progress their basic technique and then we can build from there. So my mantra on all of this is build great basic technique and that will get you into a good position to then advance things further. So onto the backhand volley. So to start off with, we've already got our grip and our ready position from video one. So chopper grip, we know all of that. The prayer position up in front. So today we'll go checkpoint number one and that will be the unit turn on the backhand volley side. And on the backhand volley side, our non-dominant hand, so in my case, my left hand, is the really important hand to set the racket into place. So once I've come out of my split step and I do my unit turn, I'm using my non-dominant hand, my left hand, to set the racket at this 45 degree angle here. And all the pressure on the racket is in my left hand. So my right hand is nice and loose so that I've got a good bit of flexibility and I've not got too much tension through. So that's number one position. My split step and my 45 degree shoulder turn using my left arm, my non-dominant to set it and a nice loose grip on my right hand, firm grip on my left hand. Checkpoint number two, my legs. Like with video one, we will load as we turn on the outside leg, which is the left leg. And that will happen at the same time as I turn my upper body. So as I load my outside left leg, my left hand and my right shoulder will turn. So I can almost imagine that my left foot and my right hand are attached to each other. Okay. And that is position number two. So it's left foot turn at the same time as we do our unit turn. Checkpoint number three will be the final step to contact. This happens just before we hit the ball. So fractionally before we make contact with the ball. So we've gone unit turn, left leg load. Then we will be stepping in on contact with our right leg, keeping that racket position up. So it's left leg onto right leg. At this point, we'll just talk a little bit about the arm structure on the backhand volley. So once we're stepping through to contact, butt cap of the racket should be leading the shot. Once we contact the ball, we want our racket bed of the strings relatively flat. And like with the forehand video, we're going to do a high to high swing path. I know you see a lot of professional players with the high to low developing that underspin, but till we learn those basics, we don't want to be scooping too much underneath the ball. So that's checklist number three. Final part of this, and this is something that's quite a big thing for me personally, and it's something that I've always believed in, and there'll be people out there that don't like this, is I do not like the phrase, imagine you're a wall or you're punching a volley. I don't think for 
learning beginner intermediate buzz it's a good idea because in my mind the volley is a feel shot it's a shot that you are cushioning the ball you are letting the racket drop back on impact of the ball so i don't want you to imagine when you're practicing your volleys at this level that it's a wall it creates far too much tension in the arm and when you've got tension in your arms especially on volleys it becomes extremely difficult to adjust your racket to where the various balls are so if i'm really really stiff in those hands and i'm really gripping it and the ball comes up there i'm struggling to manipulate my hands to move to get the racket right so i want you when you're practicing these volleys to do it much more as a feel exercise. You should feel that the racket is taking the ball. You're almost catching it on the strings, sending it back. So it's a feel-based exercise, not a wall. I don't want you to think of this as a wall. Okay, so Alfie's happy there. Enjoy that one, Alfie. Yeah, if you've liked the video, please give a subscribe or a like. Please give us a comment, good or bad. See you soon.